I'm Mark, and we're back again with a family favorite, Southern Fried Cabbage. A lot of people don't like to make this dish because they feel like it's difficult to make. But you can see right here, here's the cabbage. We got a nice green cabbage. We've got garlic, a red pepper, green pepper, and an onion. And from there, that's your full base. So that's where we start. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Let's go. Next are your meats. And so we're gonna use some uh, pork bacon and we're gonna render down the fat and we're gonna use that fat to cook and season everything up with. You'll see in the black skillet that we're gonna use. And then we have a kielbasa sausage. It's a smoked sausage, but you can certainly use, um, you can use a Polish sausage, you can use an andouille sausage, you can use any sausage that you like, but we kind of like the smoked sausage for this particular uh, southern fried cabbage. So that's where we are with that. And then with the seasonings, let me put that on here. We've got in here, we've got a, a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, we have some Cajun seasoning, and some Papoudon Magic seasoning with no salt. So we haven't introduced salt into this seasoning yet. And then we, here's the salt here. We're gonna use a teaspoon or, or a little bit more to season to taste of the salt. We're gonna use that. And then we're gonna use some pepper. This is a peppercorn we're gonna use. Uh, we've got some Worcestershire sauce, about a teaspoon of that, a teaspoon of distilled white vinegar, and some pepper flakes, and then we're gonna use the chicken, better than bouillon, to help season this up a little bit. And that has a little salt in it as well. So let's get going, get everything cut up, and we'll go from there. Next up is the meat. So we're gonna cut the sausage and the bacon right now. Usually I just split it along the middle and then cut it in the coin sizes. Uh, you can actually cut them in half after that if you want. I just choose to leave them whole. And then with the bacon, I had about four slices of bacon that I cut in pieces. And here's the meat from, from that. So now we have all our veggies cut all of our meats, time for the cabbage. And you wanna make sure you choose a, a cabbage that's green and looks good with all the leaves attached. We're gonna cut off the core first because the core is where some of the bitterness comes in. 
So you wanna get that out of there. But let's just cut it in half first, right down the center. Once it's cut down the center, you can see here, I'm outlining where I'm cutting that core piece out because you don't wanna to have to add any sugar or anything in this, it's not necessary. So let's get the core out. We'll go ahead and cut it out and I'll do it on both sides. And you can see right in the center is where we target to get that uh, core piece out. Again, that's where all the bitterness is in. And so the, once you get that all out, we can start chopping it in to smaller pieces, put it in a colander and rinse it off. And you can move your hands to help do the, with the cleaning, uh, lifting the leaves up to make sure they're all clean. Um, I didn't end up using the full head based on the skillet size that I had. So you just have to make sure uh, your skillet's large enough to handle whatever you're putting in. So first down is the bacon. We put the bacon in uh, to get the uh, render down the fat. Uh, this is what I was referring to at the beginning to talk about how we're gonna season it up. And this is a very flavorful meal. In order to uh, achieve the flavor that you want, you wanna cook it in the, the bacon, uh, the bacon uh, grease that's rendered from this. And we, we went ahead and did that. You can add a little butter in if you want to, or a little ghee, a little clarified butter, along with this. Uh, next, we're gonna throw in our smoked sausages that we cut up in coin sizes. We're gonna get them browned up along uh, uh, with the rest of the uh, cooking of the bacon, getting all the bacon combined with the sausages and cook them up really good. Uh, at this point, you can see where we're going with this, uh, with, with this uh, fried cabbage meal. This is a very delicious. Um, you're gonna enjoy it uh, because it's, it's not very expensive to make and you have uh, the ingredients probably in your pantry. If not, you can go out and get a cabbage. So that's, that's easy. If you're bored with other things uh, during this time, you can, you can always get a good flavorful meal out of this fried cabbage. And so what we want to do is fry up all of the sausages, the rest of the bacon, and then we're going to eventually pull it all out once it's all cooked right the way we want to. And once we, we pull it out, then we start loading up with the, uh, the cabbage. And by the way, thank you for uh, watching our video here at Plated. Uh, we, we have an Instagram account as well. It's called Plated Videos. So make sure you get over there, check out some of our videos that we have over there that will alert you to what's going on over here and vice versa. But uh, thank you very much for, for watching our videos. We really appreciate that. And back to this cabbage. You can see here that it's, it's cooking down very slowly i have the fire on about medium right now and so we're cooking the cooking the sausages and the bacon together and now it's time to remove them and we're going to leave that oil in there we're not going to get rid of that because that's where all the flavor and the little bits of bacon have fallen down at the bottom of the pan we're going to keep that in there this is a one pot meal probably takes i would say maybe total of about 30 minutes to cook it, uh, cook it down. But you know, there's a prep that's probably about uh, five, seven minutes. So you can relatively get your, your meal done in, in less than 45 minutes. and all the vegetables that we cut up earlier. And we've just cut them up into bite size kind of pieces, not too big, not too large, but not too small either. Um, the star to show is the cabbage. So we're, we're not gonna show up the cabbage, but you can see the color and it's very uh, appealing to your eyes and 
uh, your senses and smells that are coming out of here. Uh, we added the garlic in here while we were cooking as well. Um, and we added some seasonings in, which you'll see uh, we added the salt in first. And remember that all the ingredients will be in the box below, so make sure you check out this. As usual, um, you'll see all the ingredients and the steps to cook this in the ingredients box below. And you can see here, we're, we're seasoning up the skillet and we're gonna put some chicken, uh, better than chicken bouillon in there now to add the flavor. And again, this has a little bit of salt, so you have to be uh, very careful, uh, light-handed when putting in the salt because some of the ingredients that you're using have salt in them already. Worcestershire sauce and the vinegar goes in last. And we just use a teaspoon of each in there. In fact, uh, everything was a teaspoon. So that makes it easy for everybody to remember. But again, they'll be in the ingredients in the box below. So let's add the cabbage in that we, we shred it. And we're slowly adding, you won't add it all in all at once. You slowly have to just kind of let it cook down a little bit. You can uh, add the top to the skillet and it'll help the process as well to wilt the uh, leaves. Um, I want a, just a, a little bit of crunch in there, but not um, totally soft and wilt, if you know what I mean. And you wanna make sure that you keep stirring it around. You're frying this cabbage now and that process is going on very well. Uh, before we add the meat in, we make sure we cook it down over halfway uh, and make sure that you, you that it's cooked all the way through when you're doing this. Don't actually try to eat it before then. Uh, you can, but you want to make sure that you get everything cooked in and meld it in together. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the, the bacon, the, the smoked sausage that we already had. And boy, this is flavor town now. So you've got all the juices that it was sitting in uh, being poured over last. And we give it another toss or two before we plate it. And we thought that uh, this meal was so good. Uh, you guys, after you finish this, make sure you go out and get a cabbage and try this recipe. Let us know what you think because we thought that it was very good. Uh, so leave a comment and give us a thumbs up to let us know that you're out there. Uh, we're putting out some videos that you guys will really appreciate. They're real simple and easy to follow. Um, there's not a lot of style or anything to it. It's just like the actual meat and potatoes of the, of the uh, menu. So you see right here, we've got it. And so we had to give it a go and uh, the, the plate looks great and the dish was delicious. It was so flavorful. I was really shocked that we got so much flavor out of it so fast. Thank you for watching Plated Videos.